previously on the caucus challenge. If you haven't noticed, we've evened out. There's definitely a straight divide. It's definitely me, Malin, Jada, Michaela, and Terry against the rest of the girls. We want to give a round of applause to the monarchy, Matthias, Demarius, Jalen, Terry, Dewan, and Jerrica. Round of applause. So Mike, we'll be seeing you in elimination along with Malin. After being voted into elimination, I don't really care. I know that that sounds cocky, but given everybody else who's in this room with me right now, if I'm not going against Damaris, what am I scared of? You literally all the time. It's a game, baby. Don't be mad because you got God. The house has decided to throw in Mike and Malin. Wow. Damn, I was not expecting that. They're scared. They're going to throw in all the strong competitors. But hey, if you want to play that way, we're going to come for you and good luck. For the girls, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say Alex. I'm sorry. And for the guys, I am voting Kevin. And Malin wins. And Malin wins. Just happened. Okay, I'm, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get the look back for you. I'm gonna get the look back for you. Watch, I promise. Watch. Do you want to use a grenade or a lifeline on, and which person do you want to give it? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a grenade, and it's gonna go to my girlies. I didn't want to use the lifeline because it was random. You didn't know what was gonna happen, and it was guaranteed that the grenade would fuck somebody up. And Mike, would you like to use a grenade? Or a lifeline and to which player? Um, I'm gonna use a lifeline and I'm just gonna give it to Kevin because everybody seems to be against him. Aww. I need the lifeline so bad, so I'm just happy to have some sort of advantage for the next round. Alright, guys, I know it's been a very long day. We wanna thank you all for being patient with us, but today is not over yet. And this is your final challenge for day one. Woo! We're almost to day two, so I'm just like trying to do everything I can to make it to day two because. Y'all saw last season, Mike took me out, so like I have to do way much better and I have to make sure and show these people that I can do this shit. What you guys are playing is called running out of time. There will be three phases. In phase one, you guys will make a mile lap around the park, but at the halfway mark, there will be a riddle. To continue the lap, you must solve the riddle. You will only have three chances to solve that riddle. And if you don't, you have to wait until the last person makes it there. Winning the first stage of this challenge will give you a significant decision for day two. Phase two, you guys will be broken up into teams. You guys will then have two puzzles to solve. You will designate two people as your puzzle makers and the other four players on the team will build a bridge of tires to get their first puzzle maker to their second puzzle maker. Time stops when you solve the second puzzle. And phase three is an iconic challenge that we're bringing back from Backyard Games. You're gonna roll your tire from point A to B. When you get to point B, you're gonna pick up that tire. You will not roll it back, but you will pick it up and run with it to point C. Once you do that, your time will be stopped. And it's about that time that all those lifelines and grenades come to use. So, if you have a lifeline, you will get a 30 second head start. If you have a grenade, you have a 30 second delay. Michaela, in your case, you have both. So you are canceled out. If you don't oh. come in first, make sure you're not last. Good luck, everybody. When Dre announces it's the last round of the day and winning is important and to not come in last, the daily was set into three different challenges. So we didn't know if that meant like getting last in each different section or last throughout the whole day or uh, or the whole round, sorry. But we just knew that we shouldn't come in last or I didn't know if that was like instant elimination or like a purge vote out. I didn't do my big one, I'm sorry. I'm so freaking proud of myself. Many of the past few seasons I've played, 
my strategic level haven't been able to get capped off because I'm getting shot at or taken out early. But this time I have an army behind me and I'm able to like really get my footing. And now I set my sights on my next targets those Jersey girls, it's time for me to break up that little faction and make sure that my girls make it to the end. All right, Ricky season, I think I'm killing it. One more round, take me to day two, please take me to day two. I'm so close to going to day two. My rookie season, I made it to day two, but I had to play against JT right before, and this time I got to run to Jerusalem and back. So, hope that I can get it done. It's been a long, long day, but day two is the, you know, on the list, so it's got to get done. On your mark, get set, go! I'm glad to have an advantage this round. I wish I could have it with Michaela, but her grenade and lifeline canceled out because Alex is psychotic and gave it to her for whatever reason. But now I see that the only person to work with here is Jerrica or Kristen. I've worked with Kristen. Me and her can just get to the end, figure it out, give each other an answer, see if she'll work with me this round. I said her name in this game. She said my name in this game, but we can try and work together so that we're the first ones there and we get whatever advantage comes with it. You have 10 seconds. We're gonna start in five seconds. How much? Five. Fuck. Bitch, let me tell you that hill. That hill is not fun. It is not nice. It is not sweet. It is not smooth. It's fucking rough. So running up that hill, I'm thinking like, Kristen, you have to push, like you have to go. Go. The first phase of this challenge is literally running and that's kind of like my kryptonite in this game. It was told to us not to come out last, so like I definitely freaked out. But one thing about me is I pay attention to all the words that are used. And just because I may be last in this first part, don't mean that it's curtains for me just yet. So back in the second elimination, I had um, won a lifeline and it's now activated for this final challenge. So I'm like, oh, it's running, great. I got a bum ankle right now. That's great, this 30 seconds. How's that really gonna do? Oh. I'm gonna do my best. We're told not to come in last, and I don't know what that means. I don't know if I'm gonna get purged. I don't know if I would get thrown into elimination right away. I just know that I cannot be last, and I wanna fight for that top spot so I can just guarantee my own safety and just depend on myself. I'm here, it's all good. I'm gonna hop in my car and drive over there. <laughs> no, <I'm here. laughs> I think we could definitely catch us, for sure. Two, one, go, 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 go. Let's go, Terry. So going into this challenge, I have the grenade. So I had a delay. Running is not my favorite thing at all. As soon as the challenge started, I was just sprinting to catch up because I really did not want to come in last place. I'm going to call me by myself. That's embarrassing. I'm going to call me by myself. Seven? This stupid ass question. I get that it's supposed to throw you off, it's a riddle, but when I read this question the first time, I'm like, what kind of riddle is this? It seems more of like a, a fact, or, you know, like a pop quiz type of fact. But I didn't see that it says how many wives were beheaded. I don't know the King Henry VIII this. So I'm throwing out guesses. Now you only get three guesses at this riddle before you have to wait for everybody to to finish. No. Oh yes! Luckily I'm whispering close enough to where I can see Damaris give the answer. So Damaris gives the answer correct if he immediately takes off. So now I give the same answer, of course. And now me and Damaris are running for the finish line right here. And this is my chance to win my first ever daily right now. So it's, you know, foot on the gas. I was trying to look at people's answers or see what they would say with their mouth, but I wasn't getting it. And the first time Kristen got it and she just went. She forgot all about me. So now I'm just stuck here trying to figure out what the answers is. When it is important and you don't want to come last. And I know from playing these games, when a host says that coming in last means you're either gonna get automatically purged out the game, and I don't think there's a redemption island or a battle back in this game. So it's either we're gonna be purged, or we're going straight into elimination against whoever finished last. Five. Is that the wrong way? Is that the wrong way? I just didn't want to like gas myself just in case it was something more physical later on. And so I passed a couple people, but everyone else just kind of took off. And so I just let them. 
And so I was just running by myself for a while until I came to this riddle. And it wasn't even really a riddle, it was just a question because um, it's just trivia knowledge, so. Oh, two. 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 Dre, I didn't even read the trivia question. Everybody just said two and I said two! Day two, shorty. I'm going to day two. This is the perfect win. One of those other wins with a man, you know, I started to play, started to battle. This one, I get to get off my feet and just soak this one in, and it feels so good. I'm really proud of myself that I beat like half of the cast when people said I was weak. So there you go. Not weak, bitch. Oh no, camera. I really don't want to be in last place. And I don't even know what that means. Like what happens? Like are you auto elimination? Are you do you get like a penalty vote? Do you get something added on to the end of your time? I don't know. I am fucking exhausted. My feet hurt, my body hurts, I'm out of breath, I don't know where my pump is. <laughs> oh, this is not good. I was running and I didn't need to worry about the guys because they weren't gonna affect me. So as long as I just stayed ahead of one girl, I was okay. So I walked a little bit because I'm not a runner. And so I did walk a little bit, but I don't really care because it's my game. And as soon as I could felt that I could run again, that I ran and I finished. Hey, that's right. That's right, Jerrica. That's right. You did great. Let's go, Lance. Congratulations to Damaris and Tello. We told you guys winning was going to be very important, so just keep that in mind. The rest of you will be going into phase two, so we're going to randomize the teams right now. Uh, I'm exhausted right now. I definitely 110% didn't know that riddle, I guess. But shit, I got it right. My boy Tello heard me. But you know what? It feels good to win. He came in first place. And yeah. For sure. I just got my first daily, so thank you. The mayor. All the all the hype's real. She's a beast. That whole run just running around. She's a beast. Uh, she knew the answer too. So at this point, it's just about getting to day two. Each, each day is about just getting to the next day. So what are we gonna do? Yes, sir. What are you trying to say? Okay. okay. So then y'all can do the puzzle. We need one guy, one girl. So the yeah, it could be, it could be oh. just two people from the team. The goal is to just win the challenge because although we lost a lot of people who we were aligned with, like Sandy and Mike, yeah, like our spirits were down a little bit, but we wanted to make it to day two for those people. Three, two, one, go. Good. I, this oh. is the one that I hate. I'm really trying to win this challenge right now, but only so that I can protect me, Kevin, Terry, and Jada. These are the people that I'm working with on my team, and I was really just going hard for them. It didn't really matter about anyone else. How the fuck do I make a cube out of this? Right now, I'm looking at the lineup of the teams that we have, and although I am pretty nervous to do this puzzle, I actually don't even want to do the puzzle. I don't really even want to win this puzzle. If we're looking at the dynamic of the two teams, all of my female allies are on the other team, so it doesn't make sense for me to force them to go against each other. I might as well just try and lose this one. I know that the girls that are on my team, I have a good chance of beating, whether that's a physical or mental challenge. So I might as well just throw this challenge so that I don't put any of my allies at risk. Me, Jalen, Malin, we all were like, okay, we like puzzles. Any of us can be the puzzles. But then they're like, okay, now build the bridge and tires. I'm like, y'all ain't carrying me. I will stand here and I'll hold this tire and get Malin across because she's littler. She gonna, 
she's gonna get this done and she thought she was gonna puzzle so she was comfortable in that position 15 seconds Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, grab the puzzle. Grab one. The puzzle, grab the it was a three by three cube, and apparently Malin knew how to do cubes. That's what Jalen had said. And so, if you say you could do cubes, you should be able to do cubes. But I don't know what ha happens. Okay. It was really intense being neck and neck with Malin's team. I was trying to go as fast as possible and trust my teammates and just move it along as quickly as possible and like looking over and seeing that we're like right there tied up was super intense and crazy and I definitely had a lot of adrenaline pumping and that was really what was fueling me. Let's go, Obviously, Jada, Michaela, and I were paired up with people that obviously want us out of the game, but we knew that we had to just try to win this challenge. So we just put that all aside and said, guys, like, this is how we have to do things. These people have to hold this tire and so on and so on. So we all just had to just work together for that challenge. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. All differences aside, for whatever reason, I did have a lot of trust in my teammates who I wasn't working with throughout the entire game. At any given moment, I could have been dropped, people could dro throw challenges, but for whatever reason, my intuition was saying, like, they want to win this challenge just as much as I do, and I wasn't getting, like, any sabotage vibes. Come on this way, come on this way. Good job. I see y'all. <laughs> Yeah, eat it up! Home stretch! Home stretch! Let's go! Go, good job! Hustle! Let's go, Kev! Let's go, Kevin! Come, come on, Kevin! Come on, Kevin! Focus! Focus! Come on, Kevin! Come on, Kevin! Come on, Kevin! Come on, Kevin! Considering that neither Michaela or I were able to solve the puzzle, now I kind of have to put my best foot forward. I wanted to give the other team some more wiggle room because I know that Jalen is really amazing at puzzles. So at this point, I've kind of accepted the fact that our team is going to win this challenge. You got it, Jalen. Breathe, Jalen. Obviously, if you're a fan of the show, you can watch two seasons of it and know every single puzzle is probably going to pop up in a season. I've played a few seasons, and this is actually one of the puzzles that I don't think I've ever done in Caucus. And it's one that's always laying around. People always practice it around the house. But, you know, I'm the puzzle king for a reason. So, when I'm in, the, I'm just going to lock in the zone and make this shit happen. I am so happy that Jalen was able to pull through that puzzle. I have 100% confidence in him all the time. I know that Jalen is so smart. He's so good with puzzles. He's always practicing at home. So I'm just really happy that he was able to guarantee us a safe spot in a way. So. Good job, baby. Sorry, you guys. It sucks that I'm in the bottom four. Like, we had a stacked team. We were the first ones there, and it just sucks that Kevin couldn't get it done. So now I have to face Kevin. I have to face Lance and John V. Those are people I'm working with, everyone except Kevin. So I'm hoping going into this that I could try my best. But honestly, I'm so winded. I've been out here all day. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I don't know if I have it in me to do this, but I'm going to just try my best. All right, guys. I told you this game is always going to be changing. So congrats to Team 1. You showed what teamwork really is. That was awesome, guys. It was a close race, neck and neck. Yeah. But you guys won. So you could join Tello and Damaris. Losing the challenge really is fucking with me internally. Like, now I'm battling against Kevin, Zay, John V, who are really athletic. So I just hope that I could put my big boy pants on and knock this challenge out to stop myself from going home. You guys are the bottom eight. And this is the last phase of running out of time. It would be broken into a girl heat and a guy heat. You're gonna roll your tire all the way up the hill. 
when you get to the top of the hill, you're gonna pick up your tower, you're gonna race it down. You're gonna put it on the blue pole. We told you, if you didn't come in first, don't come in last. The guy and girl that come in last place are going straight into elimination. It really sucks I couldn't win that last one for our team. Now all of us are kind of putting this category at the bottom where we have to fight for our lives but i'm gonna still do my best i can't quit now you know it's barely the end of day one and i'm not going into another location not three in one day that's insane so i have to do my best to push get set go i picked the smallest tire thinking it would be the lightest but since I'm tall, I'm trying to roll. I can't get the momentum down. I'm hunched over, trying my best. I'm just feeling defeated. I see Lance running up so fast, and Lance, no disrespect, is a bigger guy, so I assumed he wasn't gonna have the endurance to do this. I see Kevin running up there. I see John, I just feel so defeated, and I think that's where I messed up because I'm kinda giving up a little bit, but I'm not gonna go down a quitter. I'm just gonna try my best and see where it takes me. Everything's on the line right now. I don't want to get purged on my first season at the end of day one. I just got to pass this day. I see big body Lance, King Lance, and he's ahead of me. So I'm hyped right now. I see that the other two players are nowhere near us. So I tell Lance, don't kill yourself. We're ahead. Save your energy from running down the hill. I'm literally finishing in first place. And all that's left is for me to run down hill, stack that tire, and claim my spot in the next round. I know I got a lot of leeway because Kevin and Zay are really struggling in this part of the challenge. And honestly, at this point, it wouldn't be so bad if Kevin comes out last. I know I'm going to beat Lance in the foot race at this point. So I just throw on the tire and I just take off. I save myself from the purge or double elimination. I have no idea what's going on. But I was just really proud of myself that I was able to do this and survive. Especially as a rookie, especially coming from a survivor background, this is something I needed to prove to myself. And I was able to do it. That's how you fucking go. No! I'm so proud of myself, pushing through all my self-doubt. That's one thing that the challenge has taught me, is to never give up and to always push yourself. But you know, just the self-doubt sometimes clouds your judgment. But I'm happy I pushed through and finished that challenge. Seeing me come close to last place right now is not the mood. And I do see one good thing, which is Zay behind me. So I just have to run as fast as I can down. And I'm pretty sure I have him beat. So I'm good. Finish! Finish! Oh my god. Zay, Zay, Zay. Oh my god. I'm so beat right now. Unfortunately, my fellow rookie Zay, he's going in no matter what. So at this point, I'm just fucking stressed. Numbers are everything in this game. It's not an individual game. I'm so dead. I'm like really upset right now because Zay is somebody I'm working with really closely and to see him have to go into elimination is really bothering me. So I'm just hoping like they give him somebody that he can beat and he can come back into the game. So I get dead last and I'm going straight into elimination. I just feel very defeated. I'm so down. I'm putting myself down. I'm just exhausted. I'm tired. I don't know if I have the fight in me to do an elimination. I'm praying. I'm just, I feel really defeated. I just, this isn't how I want to go out, honestly. One, go. I do not want to see another elimination. I already went through one elimination. It gave me a grenade. It got me fucked up having me delayed while everyone else is running ahead of me. So going into it, I just knew that I have to at least not come in the last place because I cannot deal with another grenade. One thing he said was not coming last. And look at me, the bottom four. But my main reason no bitch, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna pull this through. I might be, you know, a little rookie, but I'm a big dog at the end of the day. I'm gonna get this done. And I ain't backing down from no challenge. I can head back down. When I tell y'all was tired, boy. That hill was it was hell. It was hell. And then pushing the tire. And then on top of that, it's hot. But I got it up there. I was out of breath. I'm not gonna lie. I was out of breath. Woo! Made it down the hill, was still out of breath, even running down the hill, which makes no sense. It just felt good to like, you know, coming first, like carrying it the whole time back down. It was kind of hard and I felt like I was about to pass out, but we got it done. 
you know, came in first place. That's what we got. That's what we could do. Oh fuck shit! I hate this fucking hill. <laughs> I hate it, but I have to keep pushing. I have to keep going because it's bad enough that I'm in bottom four, which I've never been in. To go into an elimination right now, not happening. You gotta take it the rest of the way. Come on. No, Jules. <laughs> Jules, my back. I'm putting yourself first. No, you pushed it back a lot. I did. I feel like I pushed my body to its limits. If I go any more, like, it's gonna go to a point where I can't, you know, come back from it. So, it is what it is. I mean, you know how that's going to heal, I go. I already told, I already said, like, I don't know what Malin is obviously my number one girl alliance in this game. She's family. And she trusts Jalen because they won together. But I have zero trust in Jalen. I know he's really good at these games. He's a very good liar and manipulator in these games. Very cool person out of this game, but I do not trust him at all. For me, I thought Makita was done the first round and the second round. And then she went out there and played the weighted ball shit. So it's not about, I don't know if she's done or not, but if she is done, then we could put somebody that does, that, you know, just, just for the girls. I don't Where know. Are you at? I'll okay. vote. I'll vote whatever for the girls. All right. For the guys, I want to vote Lance. He's not helping my game, but I know that you're working with him, so I can make him help your game. Then. The first thing Demaris tells me when I sit down is, "Yeah, I want to put Lance in." Well, that's not gonna work. Uh, Lance is my number one, and so I immediately tell her, "I cannot do that. I'm not doing that." Okay, so who do you who would you want to vote in for, for the guys? guys? Uh, probably would either Mateus or. That's probably where I'm at, you know, to be honest, the guys was Just because he, one, he really doesn't know the, like, the formats of the game, he doesn't know anything. He's, if he goes in there and wins, he goes in there and wins. But he really don't give a shit either to be mad about it. Oh, I can't say that to this game. In past seasons, I always get fucked over, and nobody ever wants to see me in a final because, I don't know, I always say this, I don't know why you wouldn't want to bring me to a final, but hey, you're, I guess they're just scary. This time around, I'm just trying to be more strategic and not make the same mistakes I have in the past. Honestly, I would say Kevin. Kevin has done me dirty in the past. He said my name multiple times. Kevin made me a promise at the beginning, and he's held true to his promise so far. I'm not trying to be too combative or argue with Damaris because... I do want her to be someone that's playing on my side, not against my side. So I'm trying to find a way that I can please her with a vote of somebody that she wants to put in while not gutting my people. Who wants to throw you I don't want to do that, but are you comfortable? Like, would you want to go into this? Um, yeah. I have a question. I'm asking for a bunch of reasons, but if it's an elimination of physical race, are you going to play? I don't know. Why? Tell me one. If you're going to play, I think you're going to play, I think. Help you out a little bit more than I can. If you say you're not gonna play, then we could do something that doesn't screw me over. And if you're not gonna play, you feel me? Like if you're not gonna, but if you're gonna go to compete, then that's a whole different conversation. What do you think I'm gonna give you a good name? Michaela does come in last place. Uh, I want to first start. Michaela is playing hurt. For her to go out there and, and push her body to that point, and she's already beat up, she's already banged up. I really respect her a lot for that and the competitor in her. Um, now. I have a decision to make though. With her coming in last, I gotta vote somebody in to go against her. I don't know what I'm gonna do. The decision itself, you know, could make or break the whole entire game I have going on right now. Here's where I am right now. I feel like I've pushed my body with my injury to its limits today. Agreed. And I don't think pushing it even further for the sake of like winning is worth it for my health. So what it really depends on is if I'm comfortable with the challenge. I think me and Tello have come a long way this season. I think we understand and respect each other a lot more. And when he is coming up to me, trying to extend this offer, it's somewhat of an olive branch. She's trying to ask me what I want to do. I know I'm in the bottom. I know I'm going into elimination and he was trying to help me out and basically ask me like who do you want to go against like are you still willing to compete are you done like what do you want to do like what's best for the both of us you want to compete I'm, I'm, I'm not willing to go in there and 
get you get you banged up in there. But if you're gonna, if you think that your body wise can't compete, I am asking you to do me a solid because the game does go on. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna have to piss somebody off and have to deal with them. I really respected Tello's offer and him trying to talk to me about everything. But at this point in the game, I feel I've done everything I can for my people and I'm ready to bow out gracefully and I tell Tello like do what's best for your game and I don't want you to make any decisions based off of me because I know that I'm coming to the end of my time so it just didn't make sense. I don't know what's going on but I assume you and Tello are deciding who's going into elimination. And I told you guys both before like you had no word and when we had that fucking monarchy whatever it's called like I don't know. I just really want, I want to be given a chance. So I just don't want to go on because I'm like... Well, I can tell you right now, you're not going into one. Oh, thank so, you. Okay. I appreciate that. I was like freaking out. No. I was like, I hope that like... Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. And I will return the favor 100%. Thank you. Everyone's trying to come up to me and like save themselves. But like I said, this time around, I want to do something different. And I'm not listening to any of that. I want to do what I want to do. And that's what's going to happen. Good. Like with me for now, is that true? Because I just that, don't want that's to. That's why I want to. Do you have my back in this game? Because I know yeah. multiple seasons you've said my name before in other seasons. Yes, like, I, I did. I'm gonna be keeping it hundred. That's why I'm just keeping it. I don't have a hundred percent trust. I, I understand that. Outside of this game, I love Kevin. He's a great person. But inside this game, I do not trust him. Me and Tello have to agree on something. I haven't said I, I wanted to say. I wanted to say Lance, but he's not gonna say Lance. So what I'm gonna do? I'm going with Jay. I'm gonna go with Jill and I'm gonna talk to him and I'm gonna tell him straight up that I'm gonna say his name. But he's also saying that he's not gonna say my name. Obviously, like I said, so um, it's either over your word or Jalen's word. So if you t promise me right now that you have my back in this game. Let me tell you the three people that I think are gonna make it to the final if I report you go my way. You, Brady, that's it. Man, you said my name in this game and Jada, you said my name in this game. Something I've never said Tello's name in this game, but I want to build something with him in this game. Damaris, on the other hand, I have said her name in this game, and I'm pretty sure she wanted to get back at me this season. But we're put in such a corner right now that we have to work with each other. We're, we're giving no other opportunities. I tell her, like, you are one of the few people that I am willing to save in this game. You know, I want to put you higher on the pedestal as long as you have my back. And this is the move I need to just ensure so that we can all stay a unit and be united and keep each other safe. And it's true. I do want to work with them. So I'm hoping that they can keep me safe. I will have both of you. I have no guys really either. If I'm looking at the guys, I have not said Tello's name specifically so that he doesn't, it's not another member on me. So at this point with the guys in the game, I've been losing them. Sandy, Mike, they're gone. At this point, I can probably go with Tello. Maybe even Matthias. Matthias, I'm good with Matthias. I've heard bad things about John D, not to trust him. I'm in the fence with Lance, but I think he will say my name at some point. Jaylen, I feel I can't like trust, trust. Me and Lance haven't had like the rockiest of relationships, but we definitely haven't been on the highest of highs at all times. Um, we're good off season, but whenever the cameras come out, there's something there. And in this game, it's kind of like, I don't know where your head is at. I have screwed you over in the past before, and I don't know if you're holding on to that, but there's a big chance that he is. So I have eyes in the back of my head when it comes to him but i'm just waiting to see if he says my name or does anything to kind of just get back at me so would you be fine with only um, jay <sighs> there's no other options at all she comes up with the idea of jalen now if you go back me and jalen do have a backstory he said he wasn't gonna vote me in voted me in to only have to go in there and play against me and beat me do you think Jalen's gonna have your back till the final? No, but I'd rather give it to Jalen midday tomorrow because right now he does. It sounds good at first, but he hasn't done me wrong and he's playing a pretty loyal game to me right now. So I can't, I'm not willing to do that. I'm not going to Tello wants to throw in Matthias, and I'm just saying no, because there's no reason for that. I'm just not budging, and it's not going to happen. Is there someone that you want to go against? I don't want to go against Kevin. He's been winning, so I don't want to face him. So anybody besides Kevin, you're fine with? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to try. Do you want to pick anybody specifically? Like, if you have an option? <laughs> If I want the easy way out to stay in the game, because the game, I Joel easily. I came all the way from the West Coast trying to stay in the game, you know. I'm trying to get the full experience. 
drinks. Can you guys? Other group. Group. We can use any seat. I mean, that's, that could be our scapegoat right there. Like, we just asked both players who they wanted to play against. I would love to trust Kevin in this game. Like I said, outside of the game, he's a very dope person. But I'm scared to trust him. They want to throw in Joel. But I'm not doing that. They just want to take the easy way out. I like competition. And I love Joel. So I just don't think he should be in the elimination. And I just don't want to say his name. We're going to find him. I'm trying to run a final with your people. You know, either you or going to uh, Malin or, or Jada's. So I don't want y'all to get shot off by people coming back too. Do I think Joel? I'm just, I want to tell you that I respect that. I am gonna have to say it. Uh, I gave her a list of people, right? She can tell you she's good, but I've gone to back you this whole time. That's why it's taking so long. Yeah. I've gone to back this whole time. But do you want me to go in free? I don't want to do that, and I don't think that's you know what I mean for you to for you to ask me. I just that, right? no, I don't. I just don't want to go in. It's really irritating. For the simple fact, I can't do anything to help Jalen at this point. The only thing would be to throw myself in. And he's leaning towards like that's what he wants me to do, which is irrational uh, and completely unfair in my opinion. But I fought for him and, and I'm trying to fight for him. Of all the guys, I don't think I'm the one you trust the least. You know what I'm saying? Like out of all the guys, he broke the rest of the things to try and put him out there. So everyone's saying the same thing. I know Demaris and Tello have power. I'm gonna talk to them. I'm supposed to be working with Tello, but honestly, I see that Tello is trying to play a lot of this, a lot of different sides. He's trying to do what I'm doing, but I just think I'm like better at hiding it. Demaris, on the other hand, is very, very straight up. Demaris tells me that it's it's gonna be me, and I'm like, what the fuck, Demaris? I've tried to work with Demaris like several times, and she just like doesn't want to work with me. If you're gonna throw me in and betray me and be a lying piece of shit, Tello, at least own it. At least Demaris has the balls to say, hey, it's gonna be you. Tello, you know how, our conversation that we've had. 100% And that would be... As her being here, I've, got, I've literally gone to Bethany for this whole time. The only other thing I can do is take the, the fact, risk of not the, knowing the what's fact. going on. Demaris is gun that's it's gonna be Jalen. Now, for me, my next step has gotta be, okay, well, if we don't agree, what happens? I don't wanna find out. So unfortunately, at this point, I gotta make a, a game decision. I gotta make an executive decision. We're talking to people that I don't have no reason to save. So for me, it's hard to even go through the like go through with Jalen. But at the end of the day, I'm not going down there because I don't know what the game is gonna be. I play with just game, Jalen, and they fuck me over in every game we play together. I want them to do well day one. This is the first time playing this game, but I'm looking you in your eyes, Damaris. I swear to God, when it comes out of my totem pole, I want strong people in the final. I'm down there with you. I I can't. If they're not gonna be able to be in this position to help me out, I want two dailies, you want dailies, you can win challenges. I'm not gonna go down without a fight. There's one thing I'm always gonna do, and it's gonna try and spin something around and talk my way out of any situation. But at the end of the day, I've gone into so many eliminations, and I'm not, I'm not afraid to go into another one. What happens when I go somewhere else if the numbers go? And All right, guys, Jalen, unfortunately, you're Think about it. Right. All right, guys. So, again, let's give a round of applause to Damaris and Tello for winning. I told you you guys were gonna have great power, so it's time for that. Michaela and Zay, unfortunately, you guys came in last, so please join us up here. Jalen is a manipulator. He's really good at this game, but you cannot trust him. Anything he says, I do not trust. I know that he's aligned with everybody in this house, and I know at the end of the day, I'm at the bottom of his totem pole every single time. So I do not believe anything he says. Hello, and Damaris, what girl are you sending in? Against McKay. We'll start with Tell. My vote's from Terry. And if I don't agree with him, I'll be the one going into a donation, and I can't do that right now. So I'm going to have to take it. Although I don't want to be in another elimination, I do trust Amaris and Tello, and I know that there's a bigger plan in motion, so. Ready for whatever. Now guys, you have to pick an opponent to send in against Zay. We're gonna start with the man. This is such a frustrating feeling because I know my name is gonna come out of Maris's mouth. And I am frustrated that Tello didn't fight harder, but what this shows me is where people loyalties really lie. This is a very revealing round. It's fucking frustrating. I feel helpless. There's there's really, a, there's really parts in the caucus challenge where I feel absolutely helpless, and this is one of those moments. I think the best bet for me right now, oh my gosh. 
I'm going to have to go with Jalen. Tell him. Man, it's a oh, fuck. Uh, it's a game at the end of the day. Uh, it's a game, so so the, the choices I could disagree and go with it. If I, if I knew it was physical, if I knew the game was physical right now, I'll go in. If I if I do if I knew the game was physical, I'll go in and play right now. I swear to God, I'm, I'm, I'm everything. If I knew the game was physical, I'll go in and play right now. Do you think I'm that dumb? Like me, really? I've I've gone through ups and downs in this fucking game. I've been backstabbed, I've backstabbed. And so if you're gonna try and pussy your way out of it and say, oh, I just blah, 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 like oh, if you want, I would go in, I would go in up on this big tele, then bitch, do it, cause you're not. And if you do, then great, I'm not an elimination. But I just don't think you're gonna do it. Then go and improve it? And it's, if it's a puzzle, then what? You're not gonna help, you can't fix that. So my line is mad at me right now, cause I have to vote Jalen in. If I could guarantee 100% that it's a physical game, I'll put myself in. But if it's a puzzle, he's better than me at puzzles. So I'll, I'll be the better option for our team. Hello, we need a name. Right now, I'm flabbergasted at what Damaris and Tello just pulled. Tello, exterminator, part-time exterminator. I don't know at this point because he throws at Jalen, a champ who's had our back the whole game. But for some reason, Tello's playing his own game. And I need to speak with him after this because I don't know where his head is really at. Decisions have been made. We're gonna gear up for elimination. Um, I have something to say before we gear up. Um, as you guys know, I've been playing injured and I just feel like I've pushed my body to its limit today and I want to bow out gracefully and if I'm gonna bow out to anyone, it's definitely gonna be Terry, so. It sucks to lose Michaela. I know that she came in this game with an injury and she did her best to try and keep all of us here along with herself. So I commend her still to be playing the game that she played. If she has to go out now, she knows that she has put her body through enough and that's okay, you know, you have to put your health first. If you have anything to say, just Well, I just have to say good luck, everyone. Tomorrow, it doesn't get easier, so rest up, mentally prepare. You're wanting me to go in, I don't think it's fair, and I don't, I think it's a little bit ridiculous on Lance's part too to be screaming at me when I could have let Lance go in. Put me in there, you should put me in. She's talking. Well, yeah, I was just wishing you guys luck, and I hope you guys rest up. I love you guys, and good luck. Me. This season, I would describe in one word, and it was unexpected. I hope that I helped my people in some way, and I'm just excited to see how this all ends. Overall, I enjoyed it. I pushed myself, and it was a great experience, despite the drama and the naysayers, as always. I don't know if you'll see me again, but I'm always open to the opportunity. And yeah, good luck everyone. Jersey forever, signing out. Looks like it's only gonna be Zay and Jalen going into elimination today. Best of luck to the both of you. Thank you. This elimination is slip, slide, and score. It was a fan favorite from last season. There's gonna be a tarp on the ground. We're gonna have oil on, and water on top of it, and the two challengers must compete on their hands and knees to right over a ball and bring the ball to their goal. I don't know whether to be happy or pissed off that it's this elimination. I've done it before, so I have a huge advantage. My biggest rule in caucus challenge is to never underestimate anybody. We've never seen Zay compete in elimination. He's done well in the daily challenges. However, I do know exactly what I need to do on that tarp to get this win. And so I snap back into my elimination mode. There's a reason I do well eliminations and I just, I want to be here so bad. It will be best two out of three. So good luck to the both of you. Good luck guys. And let's suit up. Cool. Good, luck, boys. Yeah. good luck boys. Oh my. God, of all people, I'm going against Jalen, the guy who just won last season and the guy who just won this specific elimination. It's so irritating because I know I have a lot of fight in me to play this game. Two, one, go! Not only is the elimination physical, the elimination is slip and slide. If I knew that that was the game, 
I would have went in there myself and played. One, to redeem myself, I have a bit of a pride issue. But two, I'm a better physical player than Jalen. Now, he did beat me, so I know some of y'all are going to talk about that. He beat me, but I think I have I have a better chance there, and I don't want to see Jalen go home. They decided to throw in Jalen against Zay, which was the worst case scenario for us because obviously it's two of my numbers and two people I care deeply about. As soon as I saw it was them, I just couldn't even watch. I didn't want to watch. I didn't want any part of it because it was going to be awful for me either way. Let's go, Zay! I feel like there's so much riding on this elimination right now. I want to be the first guy to win twice and I want to win back to back. I I want to be here so bad. Fight, Jalen, fight! Yeah, yeah, you So I got the ball. I turn around, I'm scooting, I'm scooting. Jalen's on top of me trying to get the ball. He's around me. I'm like scooting my way closer and closer to my goal, and I'm just like sliding and sliding. I got this. I'm on top of it. He's not getting this ball for me. Good job, Jalen. Good job, Jalen. Come on, Jalen. almost there, Jalen. Jalen is my biggest male ally right now in this game, so I'm just really hoping that he pulls through. It's like, you know when like people say it's like a car wreck that you can't help but look at? That's what I feel like I'm watching right now. I expect it. Once it's in your mind. Come on, Jalen. One more, baby. One more. Give us Come one on. more. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, kid. Oh my God. I need this score. I need to make something. I'm praying to God right now. Please. I'm thinking about my grandma. I'm thinking about everyone rooting for me at home. I'm just going to try my best. I need to get that ball. Three, two, one, go. Get that day. Go, Jalen. Oh my god, I feel so defeated, I'm not gonna lie, I I had that, he just had the upper hand getting the ball, I just need to get that ball first, I feel okay, my loss is another person's win, so I'm thankful for that, somebody's gonna win, and I did what I came to do. If I no one voted me in, I got myself to this point. I couldn't do it, so I can't be mad at anybody. If I stayed in the game, though, I had numbers and I would have made it really far. So I'm proud of myself, regardless. I wasn't first, you know. The reigning champ of last season takes me out the game, and you know, I'm I'm really defeated right now. I'm I'm sad, but I I'm not that mad. I mean, this is, was his elimination to win. He is the reigning champ. If I was to lose to anyone, I would rather lose to Jalen than somebody that's not experienced. Kudos to you, Jalen. You knew how to play the game. You knew this elimination. You're the reigning champ. You're unbeatable by me, so you deserve it. All right, guys, let's give a round of applause to Zane, Jalen. Jalen, impressive again. You won another elimination. What are you, six and one? Five and one. Five and one. Let's give a round of applause to Jalen. I was so fired up going into this elimination, partly because I was just backstabbed by someone I considered to be in an alliance with. I used that to help fuel me to win the elimination, but the second I'm back in the game, it's back to game mode. Oh, tell her we're fine. Oh, thank you. Help me wipe this oil off my eyes. Oh, it's good. And so it's time to step my head back in the game. I'm not out of it yet. It's time to start day two because we have no idea what's coming tomorrow. Hey, all the way from the bay, you yeah. couldn't get it done yeah. today. Yeah. But <laughs> we loved having you. We hope to see you in the future. If you have any last words for the cast before you head out, now's your chance. I just want to say thank you, you guys, for being such great hosts. Thank you all for playing with me. You guys all inspired me in your own ways. I had really fun playing with you guys. And this is the last you'll see of me. My loss, yeah. is, another, my loss is another person's win, so I'm grateful for that. Aww. So you guys better Aww, feel that. Yeah. To the bay I go. Yeah. <laughs> coming into this game, I was really nervous. The real challenge that I had to face coming into this game was facing myself. I feel blessed to play because I got to 
play all angles of the game. I got a win. I was in deliberations. I had numbers and no one could say they voted me in. Everything fell on me. And now I'm gonna go home and face myself, work on what I gotta work on and come back and be stronger. Joel, I'm rooting for you. Jess, I'm rooting for you. Everybody else, exterminators, y'all better take these Jersey rats out, please. Thank you for bearing with us all day. You yeah. earned it. Congrats on making the day two, and I hope you guys are in store for what's next. I'm really nervous going into day two. Day one was already a lot for me. I don't like dealing with toxic people, and I feel like tomorrow the toxicity will just really get up there because everybody's fired up from the first day. So we'll see how day two goes. Hello, hey hello, winners. Yo. Congrats on the daily win. We told you guys that um, winning is really important and you guys would have a really big decision to make. So, um, no one knows yet, but you guys are about to make your teams for day two. No, it's like the full team. Full teams. Two teams of being. You guys cannot be on the same team because you guys both won. So, for starters, the first guy and girl you pick becomes co-captain with you. So, Darius, you pick a guy, Stella, you pick a girl. All right. You'll learn a little bit more about what that means tomorrow, but just keep that in mind. You guys have a half hour, we're heading out, and we'll see you tomorrow on the field, all right? Good, Good luck, guys. Is there anybody specific that you want for your team? There's a lot more thinking behind this, though. Like, we just picked two teams to, to battle it out. What's gonna happen is, I'm gonna have people that are trying to get you out, and vice versa. We are now the team captains for two separate teams that we're gonna pick with the players that are left. It feels good because one, I know I won, but two, I get some control, get to kind of make some moves and do what I want to do. I got two options, like for instance, the first way is I would pick Kristen on my team, for instance. And then you would pick people that don't want Kristen on But again, we don't know the rules, so we could just catch ourselves off guard. So and we could just pick them straight up too and just go at it and see how it works out. But okay, if we do I, that, I'm, I'm gonna pick Malin on my team. That's fine. All right. That's fine. For me, it's a no-brainer for who my, my co-captain or my first pick's gonna be. Picking Malin because that gives me the security that, you know, Damaris can only do so much if it comes down to that. And I don't think she's gonna cross me. I don't think it's gonna become a game like that. But if she does, I mean, I got your right hand. So you're gonna have to do something dirty to both of us. Okay, so who would you, you do yeah, who would you want as your co-captain then? Kevin. I want Kevin on my team because one, he's a strong competitor, and two, that doesn't give him the ability to just turn turn on me and say my name. Also, on top of that, I just want to keep all my Jersey people safe. So if I get Kevin on my team, he can't go around and say my name. Plus, who wouldn't want Kevin as a co-captain? Like, he's a great player. We're definitely on separate teams. So if you said you don't really want anybody specific on your team, right? So if I'm you, assuming you're gonna pick Jaden. Yeah. All right, no, do that. But my th what I was going to say is that if you let me pick the people that I want on my team, I can guarantee, like, you'll be safe tomorrow. So I, you, can pick who, you can pick whoever you want, as long as the people on my team, I can say they're not going to vote me. And Jalen can't be on my team. That's fine. All right. I'll take Jalen on my team. Um, everyone else, DeWan's kind of like a wild card. I'm going to say the boys first. Okay. I want Jalen, Matthias, and Kevin. Giving me DeWan, Lance, Javi, and Joel. I get three. Oh, so you gotta pick well, one I don't really team. care about any of the, I, those are the guys that I want on my team. I don't care whoever you want them. You take Dewan, and I'll take Joel, Lance, and John V. Okay. Yeah. I'm with that. So picking the teams, there's a couple of different ways I'm looking at it. One being that, you know, I want the best team. I want to be able to win. At the same time, I'm also looking at it as you don't know what's going to happen with these teams. So I want to make sure I have a little wiggle room. I got some players that are, you know, great players. I got some players that are my right hands, but I also got some players that if I got to do something to them, there's room to do that to them. It's a tough strategy, but at the end of the day, we don't really know what's next. Based on the people you have on your team, if something goes bad, they're going to vote you. Jessica's going to vote you. Are you cool with that? Yeah. yeah, I'm cool. I don't mind. Yeah, I don't really want her because I think that she's unstable. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll take Jessica. Do I get Terry? You, you want Terry? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so then if you... I don't want Brady either, just so we're clear. Give me Terry, I'll let you pick. The, you can fill your, the rest of your team. If I got to take Brady in, whatever, you can fill the rest of your team if I get Terry too. Working with Damaris is, is great in my opinion. I think that she respects me as a competitor. So with me, I'm willing to give up some of the power because one, she has a little bit more experience, but at the same time, I'm not trying to piss her off because I'm scared of her too. Uh, but she has a sense of confidence about her that there's no real reason to worry as long as we're 
on the same page to some degree, we're going to be okay as long as we just go out there and compete. So I could have been down here with somebody that I don't really like or somebody that's trying to tell me what to do, but I feel like me and Demaris' games cross paths in the sense of why not work together? And I hope we get to find a way to go further because that's the ideal partner right there. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll give you time. I'm willing to negotiate with Tello, so I'll give him Terry so I can have numbers on both sides, on both teams. I'm doing this because I want to be able to trust Tello. So I'll take the one, but I'm going to take Brady, too. That, pl please. If my team wins, you're good. I don't have much options for male allies in this game, but if I had to choose three, it would be Tello, Kevin, and Matthias. I think Tello's a great player. He's really smart. He's fast. He'll eat everything. So, yeah, I want to bring Tello to the final. Like yeah, how, what's your relationship with Brady? Like, she'll say your name? She told me she's not, but, I mean, she's a liar. She sent everybody the same, like, uh, like group chat, like, message on Instagram. Like, hope you know I'm not gunning for you. I look at Brady's team. I look at uh, Jalen, really, though. You're gonna make the right move for whatever the time being is. Like I said, I'm gonna probably keep saying, I already said his name, Jalen, so and you say you're cool with that, right? That's yeah, and this is the best case scenario because- yeah. All bets are off. Like, there's nothing you can do to change my mind. We will take you out one by one. Let's say my team wins tomorrow, and we get to choose the two people that are going to elimination. We both win for my team. Yeah. But I mean, at that point, Jericho and Joe, because he's really done nothing. Joe's just- and that's his game, you know what I mean? That's his yeah. MO, but he's not doing anything. So that will be the first two I would ask you to pick. Now, if you had to pick the person to play against them, preferably not Lance. So I'd probably prefer you pick John B and Terry if it's like the play. If it's between Kristen or Terry, I'm throwing in Kristen. If I have any say when it comes to Kristen or Terry, I'm throwing in Kristen every time. Terry's part of my alliance. Kristen is clearly not on my side. She's clearly going against us. So I'll say her name in 0.2 seconds. I don't care. We're trying to go to a final, right? Like, you, would you mind running a uh, final with Kevin? Yeah, I want a final with Kevin. And I'll run a minute. So if this is what we're going to do. We can make the point of the game to just figure out how to keep doing that, though. I want to win. I want to be a champ. I want to get that respect. I want to get that title. And looking at the field, there are some girls that I think running a final with them would better suit me than running the final with Kristen. For instance, Jada. Jada's a beast. Malin, returning champ. Why not want to play with her? Terry is another great competitor I wouldn't mind playing with, but my ideal partner and my group I want to take to the final is Damaris and her, her the girl that she plays with because they're just doing all this stuff right like I'm doing right now. So if I could take Damaris, Malin, and Jada, I don't care about the guys. Uh, I want Lance to go with me, of course, but whoever wants to run against me can run against me. As far as the teams go, as far as the votes go, I think we're fine. People don't want to... I'm not up. worried about myself. Even if I do go into elimination, so like... like I made it a whole day without him. I didn't come out here to not play and shit. I watched this show and I became fans of players and Damaris is one of my favorite because she competes. She doesn't care what you're talking about. She doesn't care what you got planned. Make sure you can beat her. Being with Damaris right now, I have a sense of comfort because she's been here long enough. She knows the game. I just got to kind of follow suit and listen a bit. Throw some ideas out here and there, but not ruffle too many feathers. We're sitting in a good spot and winning with Damaris is, you know, that's the best win you can get. Just. Again, she's a beast. I don't necessarily have targets at this point in the game, but my expendable people are Joel and Jared. Are you good on the Lance target? Like, you're not gonna do that anymore. My thing with Lance is like, that was just something that I wanna do. I don't know what anybody else, anybody else's paranoid. opinions on him. He just gets paranoid. Right now, my relationship with Lance, probably from the outside looking in, looks crazy because we just keep yelling at each other and bumping heads. I think there's a bit of a trust factor there. I don't think he trusts me fully, but at this point in the game, I came into the season with the job of me and my alliance don't go up for eliminations. Me and my line's name doesn't come up in deliberation talk. And I'm doing my part. Everything that Lance has asked to happen has happened. They wanted Kevin voted in. So I got the votes to vote Kevin in. They wanted it to be Sandy and Terry. And it goes the exact way he wants it to go. And they go home. Everything has gone the exact way it's supposed to. But I'm here to play. And I think I showed it through every round, deliberation, everything. I think I've handled myself well. And like I said... Have you heard my lines be brought up in deliberation yet? The consensus at the beginning was gonna be you versus Malin. Yeah. That's and I've said, bro, I'm not gonna do that because if we, one of them is gonna win for sure. And imagine we would have done that, y'all would have been pissed. And we would already been out. I think we both have expendable people and we both got the people we wanna play with, so. I'm good, you're good, you're safe. Let you do the honors. Last night, Kello and Damaris earned the right to make your team for the season. <laughs> this is the Caucus Channel's love and war, and people we were warring with, now we have to love them. Why would I talk about you? I'm like, fuck. 
I still have Tamaris, Malin, and Jada. We're four of the strongest girl competitors in the game. He knows Alon was drawn. We know Alon's drawn. At the end of the day, we, everyone right, in the so game knows. You have to, you have right, to pick which line you're going to end up on. Egg, 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 you. Egg. What we can do is we can run this as a team. If they get us out, they, they really got like a lot off their shoulders. But if they don't, they really got to be worried. And then the rest of you are all the same alliance. So obviously that's what you guys are going to say. I know. You walked away, stormed away, act like this world revolves around me. I'm still standing here right now, right? Why are you talking so much shit about me, bro? What the fuck you have against me? Because you won the game, you think, you think the world revolves around Malin? They're gonna plot me against the Maris. I wanna go so bad, so I can fuck them up.